All right, my name's Neil Kesterson, and welcome to Media Unlocked. And this week, it's digital audio recorders. Why digital audio recorders? We're video guys, all right? Well, occasionally, you're going to need to record on something separate. Uh, maybe your DSLR, the input, is a little eighth-inch connector, and that just doesn't buy it. doesn't work all the time. Uh, you can re successfully record on a separate digital audio recorder and then later on mate, mate the audio recording up with the video recording. The key is, is to start your audio recorder and your video recorder at the same time and then slate the beginning. What that means is a slate in the beginning, you, you see the old fashioned uh, slate, that the, the clapper board, um, they, they're called a dozen different things. But you can use one of those and you hold it in front and you say, you know, scene one, take one, clap. The recorder records the sound of the clap, the video sees the visual of the clap, and then later on you match them up. You, in Final Cut Pro or whatever you're using, you go to the frame where this clapper comes down, you stop it, then you bring in the audio, you drag, you literally see a peak where it happened, you line that right up underneath of it, and then go on forward. That goes all the way back to the first days of talkies. Back in the late 1920s, they did the same thing. They, that's where the slate came from. They slapped it. You can also use your hands. You can literally hold your hands up and do this and, and literally clap. And you have it. Just make sure that it's very distinct so that you can see on camera what's going on. You have a clap like that. So, Let's talk about what the recorders are here. Let's talk about the different recorders that are, that are available. This is just different classes of recorders. By all means, investigate. Go to the online stores. Go to your local store to see what they have. Get your hands on things. See what's going to work. Uh, one of the simplest and also one of the most complicated ones are a little device like this. This is an older M-Audio. They microtrack. They now make a, a newer version of this where they fixed a lot of the problems that they had with these. But it's basically a uh, compact flash recorder. And it's very simple in operation once you get it going. You have to set it up properly. You're going to want to record as high quality as you can do. Don't record MP3. If that's all it does, MP3 is fine. Record WAVE or I don't know if any of these record AIFF, which is the Mac version, but any Mac will read a WAVE file. And uh, You've got basically on this particular one, we have quarter inch inputs, mic or line. They serve us both. And I just built little cables, little converter cables that have female XLRs on the end to plug mic microphone in. Headphone output and then a mini mic input right there. Um, in fact, this comes with a cool little stereo mic that you can record ambient sound with. But remember, we, all, we talked about microphones and not recording on the camera. Well, it's the same thing on here. Don't use these microphones to record anything that, that uh, is for film sound. You're going to want to have a microphone on you. So, again, just the connectors coming in. The weak point is the quarter-inch connector. It can come out. So I would plug it in, and then I would gaffer it down, gaffer tape it down. You've got a menu button. You've got, you can hold, meaning... Once you flip that on, you're recording, you can press buttons and they don't do anything, so you can stick it in your pocket or whatever. Um, you've got different levels of uh, low, medium, or high. You've got phantom power, on or off. Remember, we talked about that in microphones. And then you've got your basic controls up here. This is uh, a function button over here. Now, using these on location, if you have very minimal takes, you can just get this started and go and just leave it running, leave it recording all day if you want. That's fine. The less I have to touch these, the better, because when you start to move up in class in these recorders that are specifically built for location audio, you have a lot of the controls on the particular device instead of having to go through a menu. So stopping and starting one of these is like crossing your fingers that it's going to actually record the next take. They are getting better. Uh, and a lot of these do come with different connectors. Some of them come with the XLRs directly on them. That's great. That eliminates any kind of 
um, connection problems that you might have. But remember, this is, this is a separate recorder. If you look up double system recording, you, you'll, on the web, go to like filmsound.org is a great place to learn about location audio. Um, not only location, but uh, post audio as well. But that's what this is. This goes back to the original days. They had a separate audio recording device, and then they had film, because everyone knows film is film. It's not a recorder, an audio recorder. It's just film. So you are doing, in essence, what they've been doing since the beginning. You're recording on a separate device. Again, why? Because maybe the, the camera recorder is not good. Maybe you, you're too far away. Maybe the camera is over here and you're over here and you don't have a cable long enough. You can do this. Let's move on to the next class recorder. This is actually a mixer. And it has a card slot in the back that you just pop in a card and then it has a USB connector. You only have to take it out and use a card reader. You can connect this up to your computer. And it will record in stereo or split track as we like to call it in here and here's the function button for that it's got rewind you know stop start record and a, and a little light will come on and I think there's an audible beep in the headphone signal I believe uh, this is this is the next step up it's an Ederol R4 Pro they make different versions of these um, this is um, it's made pretty well but it wouldn't withstand a lot of rough handling um, but when you move up beyond this you get into Hollywood uh, equipment, meaning that these, these re uh, location recorders make their living every day with equipment that they would use. So therefore, it's like buying studio equipment. It's like buying a, a you know, you're on the level of expensive cameras, uh, thousands, tens of thousands of dollars for just a, a recorder to use on location. So this one's a good uh, in-between. It... Um, has, um, of course, different menus and everything, but everything is right on the front. It's a four-channel recorder. You've got your input section here. Also, it takes digital inputs, and it has, um, it really is not a mixer. It, it's, it's designed to record into it. You can output, but you have to output uh, AES digital out. Um, but the cool thing is it has SMPTE time code in and out. Meaning, SMPTE is a, is a method of recording a separate, um, each individual frame of video is a unique number. And there is a, an audio equivalent of that that allows it to go over this particular thing and imprint those same numbers that are on the video camera onto the audio recording. So when you bring it into your... Um, your, your editing program, you don't have to line up that slate. You tell it to, to drop it in at the same time. So it, ma it literally drops in right under the video in the same timeline when you record time code on it. So you would feed out of a, di of a video camera into this. A lot of these DSLR DSLRs don't have that, so it's a function you don't have to pay for if you're not going to use it. It did about double the cost of this just to have that time code function in. It does have a USB, so in, inside it has a, an 80 gig hard drive. And also right here it's got, um, you can add storage to it. You can plug in a little uh, USB, like a flash drive right there, and you can literally transfer the recordings from this to a flash drive, or you can plug in a USB on your computer and it shows up as a hard drive there. Um, again, four channels, you can record multitudes of different kinds. You can record one mono channel, four mono channels, two mono channels, one stereo, two stereos. I mean, it's just endless. But it's sort of like a mixer where you've got the inputs right here and you've got a monitor out. You've got uh, stop, start, record. And up here you have like what's on a mixer, phantom power on. You've got a limiter. And a hold, again, is like what this one does with a hold. You put hold on and none of the bu buttons function. Um, it also has two built-in microphones, so if you just wanted to record ambience, it's not great to use if you uh, are depending on it because, again, it's farther away from the sound source. And this recorder, even though it's very, very quiet in nature, it does have a hard drive that spins occasionally in there, so you do hear it a little bit. But it also has little speakers on here. They are El Crapo speakers. 
but it's good enough for monitoring to play something back to say, yeah, it's there, or if you have a whole, it, oftentimes I have a whole group of people standing around me that want to hear what was just recorded, so I'll just play it back through the little speakers just as a confidence. And it's got a shuttle and jog wheel. These are rentable. You can, you can rent these uh, from a lot of places. You can buy these. This is under $1,000 without the time code option. Um, these are roughly, to get a good one, um, you know, three or $400. I doubt you could rent these. You might be able to. Uh, this is in a whole different class of price because it's, it's, it's a dual function. Uh, this is two or $3,000 for something like this. Uh, but it is designed to be, you know, it's made out of steel. Basically, it's kind of heavy. It's, it's actually weighs more than this thing does. But uh, these are really good options to get started with. I highly recommend one of these to start off with to get used to the double system recording. If you outgrow it, that's great. Next time on Media Unlocked, cables and connectors, everything you want to know about them or didn't want to know.